What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Lump Vision. I go by the names Lump, D Lump, or LV. It doesn't matter which one you want to call me, I'll respond to any of them. And once again, we're in the car studio. In this video, I wish I were in the house, but uh, the house isn't set up right now for me to record in the house. It'd probably be a lot better um, for me to talk about this uh, in the house so I can actually show you what's going on. But this is just going to have to work for now. I have a couple pictures to show you, uh, kind of give you a good idea of what's going on. So, as you all know, this is a beard channel mainly. Probably about 98% of what I do is beard related. But if you've been following me, you also know that I do talk about, I have the dog up there. I have a two-year-old boxer. I throw him up there every now and then. Uh, but I also, I like guns. I have, uh, I've had a couple handguns, uh, probably a half dozen hand, handguns in my life. Um, I've showed a couple on this channel. Um, but today, uh, I want to talk about something that I've been wanting to do. And I finally jumped into the rifle game. I bought a, let me see if I can get this right. Because when it comes to beards, I, I know a thing or two about beards. I know I know what I'm talking about. With guns, I know a little bit. I know how to use them. But I don't really know all the terminology all the time. More especially with handguns. I'm a little bit more um, knowledgeable about handguns. But rifles, not so much. So I got a rifle. I got a Ruger. Let me see if I can get this right. Ruger PC Carbine uh, Chassis is what it's called. It's a 9mm. Basically, it's an AR-15 style rifle where it has... It's it's 100% customizable. I've been looking at videos on YouTube to see what kind of things um, are done to these rifles. Um, I did... The only thing I've gotten so far was a red dot sight. It didn't come with iron sights. So I got a red dot sight. I was able to take it out to the range. I bought it Saturday. So let me, I don't want to bore you with the story, but let me just go ahead and go with it anyway. I'm a Canic guy, huge Canic guy. I have two Canics. I have the uh, TP9 V2 and I have the uh, TP9 Elite, the TP9 Elite or whatever, um, you know, like the Glock 19 size one. Um, and I can use both to carry. I don't, both of those I've carried like four o'clock, 430 position. I've never done any uh, appendix carry with both with either one of those. Canics are, you know, pretty thick guns. I mean, they can be carried appendix, but me, I'm really comfortable carrying a 4 or 430 anyway when I'm able to carry. I live in Maryland, so I can't really carry like that. So my, uh, what I wanted to do is don't get angry. Don't get angry. It's a great gun. Absolutely great gun. I sold my intention was to sell my cz p10c i did put night sights on it and i did change the trigger it was the the theta trigger from hp industries i think i changed the trigger and and uh it was just the shoe just everything was just it's a great gun out of the box with the trigger so it really was no it was just the look of the of the gun i might try to find some pictures and throw that up there just in case anybody forgot so my objective was to go in um, trade to the gun shop, trade the CZ in and get a Canic Mete. I wanted the Canic Mete, whatever, SFT or whatever, um, optics ready. I wanted that one, but in Maryland, there's like a list or whatever that, uh, when new guns come out, there's a list that goes on there and it just hasn't been released yet in Maryland. It will be eventually anyway. Um, but I, that's what I was going in there for. And then I started looking around at, uh, I saw the Canic TP9 Elite SC, S Sam uh, cat, <laughs> I was going to grab that. It's optics ready, subcompact. I think it's like 12 rounds. And I think the extension's like 15 or something. I'm not exactly sure all the numbers on that. And I was looking at it, looking at it, looking at it, I had the optic on it already. And I just looked at the wall and I said, Hmm, I have two guns that I can carry. And I've, I've wanted a rifle. I have two guns I can carry. I started looking at the wall I saw some rifles. I started asking questions about the rifles, and uh, I looked at um, an AR-15 at first. It was a 5.56 from one manufacturer from Michigan. It was like an OD green, really nice rifle, 16-inch um, barrel. And you know, I kept asking questions about different rifles, and the um, the guy at the gun shop says, "Well, let me. How about this? You know, I have this uh, this carbine here from Ruger." 
he handed it to me and immediately immediately I liked it and it was more practical for me more than anything well I'm not like huge into the guns and all that stuff and I think I need to protect myself and this that and the other I like guns because I like guns I like fast cars I like pretty girls I like things that go boom I mean that's just you know call it what you want to call it but that's really why I like guns not necessarily for my protection. I know they can protect me if I need to. I know if I need to, to to defend myself, it's there. If I need to defend need to defend myself, but to me, it's more recreation. It's it's fun to do. It's more recreation, but I still want to keep the practical side there. So I went with the nine millimeter just in case I did want to use the rifle for home defense. Um, uh, I don't like I said I don't know a whole lot about this, uh, but it's a little bit of reading that I've done. Uh, 556, 223 are, you know, very fast moving rounds. And I don't know if that's, you know, very good to be in the home shooting. Hopefully that's never has to happen ever. I don't ever want to have to sh even pull my gun out for anything. Um, but if I did, I'm like th trying to think practical. So nine millimeter, I have home defense rounds, my nine millimeters, all my, all my handguns, except one, my very first one or nine millimeters nine millimeter my very first one was a 40 so yeah i was going to get this canic mete didn't have it yet i looked at the sc elite subcompact with um with the red dot um it comes optics ready and i just started looking at the rifles and i'm like okay i started going 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 i'm like okay this is the one um i sold the p10c along with some accessories to bring the price down on the um on the the rifle carbine whatever you want to call it okay so i ended up paying um a little bit of money i paid i, I can tell you how much i paid but i it ended up working out really well for me because i you know i got some a good amount of money for the cz and the cz p10c and the accessories to go ahead and tack that on to um uh, bring the price down not bring the price down but just pay the difference pay the difference on the price of the rifle um and i don't know how it works in every other state but in maryland if you buy a handgun or some type of ar or some type of pistol ar pistol or whatever um you have to wait seven days um to go through all that stuff to you know get your background check and all that you have to wait seven days i guess cool down process whatever you want to call it i know i'm talking fast but whatever you want to call it you have to wait um, and it was a little bit of impatience and all that stuff. And I'm like, okay, I know rifles. I can walk right out of the door with this thing. They run my background. I'm not a criminal. Everything's good to go. Everything matches up. I know I can just grab my rifle and leave out with something that I've been wanting to get. And, um, and I was able to get it. So yeah, man, I'm, uh, eventually I'm probably going to go back and, and get like a, you know, some type of AR-15, probably chambered in 5.56. Five, um, once again, for it won't be for practical reasons at this particular time. It'll be, you know, because I, you know, kind of want that style or that round of a rifle. So, yeah, man, uh, I bought it Saturday morning. I shot it Sunday morning. Um, it, it didn't really... I don't, I, you know, just watching people hold the rifles and stuff like that. I just mimicked what I was doing, uh, what I saw. I don't know if it's the right thing to do, wrong thing to do, what technically if I'm doing things correctly. So I do want to take a class so I can make sure I'm doing everything correctly. Um, the pistol shooting, I'm pretty much self-taught. So I figured I can teach myself how to shoot a rifle as well. Um, I probably should take a pistol class and I, I kind of want to take a rifle class. So, um, yeah, it was an interesting experience shooting with the red dot. I've never shot with the red dot. So, like, it was learning on the fly how to zero in the dot. Um, I started seven yards. I was shooting. I was putting, the, the you know, the dot right on whatever, the A zone target right in the middle. And it was shooting low. Straight, straight down the middle, but low. So, I'm like, okay, I know uh, this is where the zero in coming in, comes in. i never really done it. I know what it is. So I started messing with the zero and initially I, you know, put the little wrench in and turned it to, uh, I turned it clockwise, which was making it go lower and lower. I'm like, okay, that doesn't make any sense. It actually says up on, uh, the windage and all, whatever you want to call it, it says up. So I twisted it up a few times, 
took a few shots and everything started coming up and up and up. Next thing you know, I was pretty much dead on where wherever I was shooting. It was a regular, I guess, USPSA, IPSC target, whatever, when it has the A and a, the A in the middle, the Bs and then the Cs. And I think in Ds. So I was just, you know, going through all the targets and I was fairly accurate. Um, and most of that was done at like 25 feet, whatever, what, I don't know what that's 16 yards, 17 yards, whatever that is. But that's, um, that's how I handled that. So, um, I, I'm sitting in my car, this car is backing up, it's getting kind of close and I don't like it. All right, they pulled up. So yeah, man, that's my quick experience with, uh, the rifle and buying a rifle and how I got to it. So, um, Depending on what range I go to, I might try to get some video. But uh, if you follow me on Instagram, at Lump Vision, you'll get some quick updates on things like that. Because I posted a picture I posted a picture of the rifle, and I posted a picture of the target. So if you follow me on Instagram, at DLump5, you'll get little quick um, whatever updates or whatever if I don't feel like making a video. And if I don't feel like wasting running my mouth for almost 12 minutes, which I hate doing, um, you can go quick, quick hitter, check it out, and we can interact on there as well. So, yeah, man, that's it. Uh, like I said, I wish I could have, you know, had the rifle with me and able to like give you a little bit more, a um, little bit more detail on it so you can see it on camera. But I'm just gonna throw a picture up and um, and let you see what it looks like. And uh, of course, I'll. Maybe I won't. I'm not going to drop a link anything on there to where you can get it and all that stuff. But, you know, all the names will be in the description. You can go check it out, Google it, and see a bunch of pictures. And that's it. I'm rambling. This video is over, man. It's Monday. I'm glad it's over. I'm not, uh, I kind of like Mondays, but I'm rambling again. So let me get up out of here. Uh, thanks for watching. A big shout out goes out to all of my subscribers, old and new. And everybody, thank you for coming to check out my channel questions comments concerns let me know later